Woohoo! Welcome to the Rowdy.com Big Three Burning Issues. In Rowdy.com? What's that? That's a website where you can post a blog, post a video, and talk NASCAR and racing. And listen to our daily podcast. Absolutely. That's cool. Could you watch this video? You could. If you know, you wanted. this is the first time the three of us have been together on a video in quite a while. Well, I'm I'm really heartened by that. I'm very, very happy, Cutler. Thank you. Now, why don't you introduce the merry gang here, okay. Bass? Buck Fever, Bass Masters, and off camera, as is appropriate for a man of his looks, Buzz Cutler. I've got a great face for radio. <laughs> Three big issues in NASCAR today. Issue number one, for the second time, Tom Logano, Joey's yep. patriarch, Joey's patter. His father, if we're trying to be clear. dear old dad. His padre was chastised by NASCAR for involving himself in a pit road incident. What? We're all fathers here. What is your advice for Tom Logano? You know, your son is now in officially in the deep end of the pool. And he can't, it's not going to work. For him to be a big swimmer guy if he has to wear water wings. So I think you're going to have to let him. I mean, if he's in dire straits. So he should be able to sink or swim on his own? If he's drowning, you're going to have to jump in. But before you jump in or throw him water wings or whatever, make sure he's actually drowning. I think Joey was trying to handle his own business. I think Tom Logano, I understand the emotional reaction, but you don't want to put yourself in that position, I think. You know, it's like, it's like. It's like Tom, avoid the near temptation of sin. You know what I'm saying? Tom, Stay away take, and let Joey handle his business. Take a step back. Joey handled his business very, very well in a man-sized way. He does yeah, because he went. Me, 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 he doesn't me, me, need yeah. you man-sized. Do well, he went on and took on Kevin Harvick. I'm proud of the little guy. He did go over. It almost looked like Joey was pushing his father out of the way. I know. Yeah. Didn't yeah. it? I mean, I mean he, he was trying to, to to have a conversation with Kevin. Yeah. All right. Issue number two. Jack Roush um, was on the NASCAR weekly teleconference yesterday. He says it has not been a bad year. Would you agree with it, that? It hasn't been a bad year, but it depends on what you're, you know, it's like they used to say, someone it's, said, uh, you know, is that abroad? And the response was, well, it all depends on where you're standing. I mean, it's it's like, wh <laughs> you know, what are your standards here? It's been a bad right? year. It's been, it's not it's been a year that's not up to snuff for Roush. They're not they as fast. They haven't won a race. They're not as fast, and they're not really vying for a championship. They're not out of it, but they're not totally in it either. By Roush standards, come on, it's been a bad year. Yeah, last you year, look at Dover, and we're going to Michigan, and we'll see how they do at Michigan. But the last couple years, they have not been as fast at the downforce tracks that certainly have been their bread and butter over the years. And knock, they just haven't. And knock, knock, Carl Edwards has basically said the same thing. We're throwing everything at these cars, trying everything, and we're just not getting yeah, enough speed. I, I tell Bob what I want in the car, right. and he's having trouble giving it to me. All right, let's move on to issue number three, Baz. I'm glad you brought up Michigan, because Michigan traditionally has not only been a Ford track, it has been a Roush Fenway track. Matt Kenseth, Greg Biffle, Carl Edwards, all should be strong at Michigan. Michigan, would you expect this to be their redemption? I don't expect it to be their redemption. I, I'll say the one guy, I looked at last year's Michigan results, because they were a little bit down, you know, in the past, as you say, Cutler, you think about this track, you think about four and five Roush cars running in the top ten for most of the race, and one of those guys winning. I mean, that's typically what would happen, and it was never really that great of a track in recent years for Hendrick until last year. Mark Martin won this race, uh, the Hendrick cars were pretty fast at Michigan, and the Roush cars, well, Carl Edwards was fourth in both Michigan races, and Greg Buffel was fifth in the first Michigan race, but that was it for top tens for that organization at what was maybe their best track, certainly one of their best two or three race tracks. And the interesting thing is I go back, and I'm uh, through my mind on the pick of the weeks, we haven't picked a Roush driver to, to win a race in a long, long time. Well, what's the defini definition of insanity? To, to keep doing the same thing and expect different results. I mean, they're, At some point, it's like, well, they ain't won. They're not winning. Why would I pick them? I, I would say maybe possibly a top five out of one of them, but I don't see them winning here. No way. And Jack Roush said it himself. This, their simulation efforts are all off, and their testing is all off. So uh, The one guy I would keep an eye on at Michigan really is Carl Edwards, who had two top fives here last year. This is an excellent track for him. So if they're going to do something, I would think that 99 Cousin car Carl. would be fast. You would so, think, but gosh, it hasn't. I'm been. not putting my money on it. All right, that has been your Rowdy.com Big Three for today. Do join us, won't you, at Rowdy.com. I had a blog about Pal Joey up there, which you can, got a lot of comments on. Um, Cutler just did, you, you know, you did a V-blog on Tom Logano or Joey Logano. Joey Logano, Joey yeah. Logano, so, manning up. No, I, I just shot a V-blog on Mattias Ekstrom. Ah. Oh, is that how you say it, Mattias? You don't say Mattias? Mattias Ekstrom? Well, I don't know. I thought it was Mattias, but you could Mattias. be right. Mattias? Mattias?
Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.